Do you think this is big enough to hold me? Consider how much you weigh? Yeah, probably. Okay, I think we're good then. <laughs> it's gonna be no big. Welcome back everyone. So, in the last few videos we work on getting this thing out, we finally have what we think are all the wiring disconnected. We're hoping we actually don't have to move much on the sides here. We just kind of shimmy the motor out and disconnect stuff as we go. Everything on the top is done, everything on the bottom is done. We just don't really know what's behind it. I'm pretty sure what the two motor mounts and the four transmission bolts are what's holding it in right now. Uh, is there more than, I thought there was only, I thought there was like six or seven. Uh, it's your Jeep. I don't know. I've never had the transmission out before. An un, a, a number of bolts are holding it in. Yes. An, un, <laughs> an undetermined number of bolts. Yeah. By the way, this is Dave from... Husky Dave Hobbies. Yep. Go check his stuff out. He's pretty cool. Anyway, so the ho the plan is is to get the engine out tonight and get it up the really steep driveway that you guys are standing on. It's pretty impressive. Hopefully, we can he-man this thing up there. Anyway, I think it's time we get into it. Yeah? Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Let's, let's start. You know that, Mark? What? Easier if I have a lift. You know what? This would be way easier if I wasn't colorblind. <laughs> 14, 17, and what else did you want? Extension and sockets? Huh? Extension and swivels? Yes. Small extension or a lot? Um, what happened? I guess so. So far, we got four bolts here along the bottom. They're all 14 mil or 15 millimeter. There's two bolts, one on either side um, of where the starter would go, essentially. So on this transmission, it looks like there's two ways to mount a, a uh, starter. And there's two 16 millimeter bolts above those spots. And then it looks like it transitions to 14s up over the top half of the motor. So this is going to be super fun with three different size sockets. Come on. And then... We just got to get it seated, so just, yeah, there you go. Keep doing that and pushing it towards, there it is. Okay, now, wow. <laughs> Check out what we have to do to try to get that thing out. I think there's a better method. <laughs> it's almost as tall as me, dude. I know. Uh, that's, that's a lot of, oh, it just fell off again. Dude, I feel like this is going to be really bad, depending on how tight that is in there. That's how tight you think these upper transmission bolts are. They honestly weren't very tight at any of them. Like, they're tight, but they're not, like, super tight. You know what I mean? Uh, nope, don't know what you mean. Well, if you need an RMA, just let me know. I can get in <laughs> I don't need a real man, David. Oh, yeah. It's coming. I got it. You got it loose? Yeah. Heck yeah, that's how you build them. I'm not having to watch so, advice, if you're taking one of these out of one of these, the top two bolts stick your body way in here. It's the only way. Hey, before we go too much farther, we should probably, we should probably strap the tranny up. I can't see if the bolt's out. I don't think I could get the wrench off either. <laughs> I can't, can I? Here, hold on. I got it off. Ah. <laughs> this is not a time to pet my finger. <laughs> I'm trying to focus here. This is serious business. Okay. Is this one just exceedingly long or something? David, sure. how far out am I? It's probably just about out, honestly. Whew. 
My everything hurts. <laughs> <laughs> my stomach hurts. I got, what do I have in my stomach? I got air conditioning lines in my stomach. Oh. I got your intake manifold hit my nipple. <laughs> I don't know what's hitting my right arm. My left arm is hit by everything. Oh, can you see if you could spin it from there? Oh, I'll try. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how long I spun it. Did you get it? Wait, 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 stop. Yes. Victory. Victory. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's what victory looks like. One bolt. Okay. Do not move anything. All right. Now. See that uh, power steering line? Can you move that out of the way of the head? This one? No. This one? Yeah. You can put it on top of the head, I don't care. Just kind of like fold it out of the way. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think that's going to be one of the things we're going to have to, uh... there. Oh. Okay, yeah, those are one of the things we're just gonna have to work around as we get it coming out. Ready? Okay, let's go, let's try to go slow. Let's... Okay, wait. Let me get Mr. Pickle Fork again. Woo! It popped, didn't it? Okay, can you pull your way slightly? Okay, we're hung on something. What? Can you go up? Um, yeah, I think so. You can. You're, you're hung up on your exhaust. You're hung up on the exhaust. So, see if you can come up a smidge. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Woo! Alright. Oops. That's what I mean. If I like do a little, if I do a little dance, and you make a little move, things will get down tonight. Okay, go up, go up. Keep going. Woo, okay, go your way. Alright guys, there you have it. So we got the whole thing out. It actually, um, 
it was a it was more difficult and less difficult than we thought at the same time. Really, it's just a bunch of connectors and what about twelve bolts total? I want to say. Uh, I think so. Yeah, because there was yeah. four fourteen uh, millimeters. There was four. Six, Sixteen bolts. Because four for the motor mounts so that we took off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah. It's like sixteen bolts to get it out. It's really not bad, except for uh, these two right here. These upper two. Basically, you have to get someone like me, who's a little thinner with dangly arms, to like hook your body over the motor and reach around the firewall back down here with a little uh, a ratchet wrench is the trick to get this thing out. So I have no idea how we're going to torque those things, but uh, we got it out. That's so. the problem. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. It took a little bit longer than either of us, either one of us were anticipating, um, but it is a, it is out now. So. Hopefully uh, Mark keeps joining me on this little adventure here and you guys get to see more great content on his channel. Yep. Um, don't forget to check out me on my channel, Husky Dave Hobbies. Yep. Um, I've done a few more things with my WJ and we look forward to doing more compilation videos here in the future. Yep. Yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully we'll, we'll, be able to, we'll be together to be able to build the, uh, build the motor at the same time. I have some things coming up so I might miss some of it, but I'll try to do what I can to get some of that content out if you guys want to see it because it's going to be pretty interesting. He's actually going to take this motor back in about a, a, a week. Yep. Um, and then all of his other posts for his brand new block, which is sitting right over there, yep. uh, come in. So we can, uh, he'll, he'll get started on that. And hopefully, like I said, we'll, we'll be in on that so you guys can see that. Anyway, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Hit the comments below if you have any questions, concerns, whatevers. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video. If you like what's going on the channel, subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Later.